Check out the formulas of mine, I combine lines of rhyme. I climb inside the mind, see what I can find. Analyzing words, screen and form. Knowledge through etymologies, the meaning born, mainly out the norm. I mill upon a melody, friends a felony. No compelling me, evil prevails, and bill scales excel. Draws it up. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Got another blind bought fragrance for you today, one that I've been wanting to add to my collection for quite some time. I remember a long time ago, Dell uh, Bottom Note did a video on this and he kind of recommended it. And I just read a lot of good stuff about the house and the fragrance. So today we're looking at Dandy from the House of Dorsey. Now, let's get right into it. Before we talk about the fragrance, let's talk about the house. Dorsey is a French house that calls themselves a truly um, aristocratic perfume line. The philosophy of the house is based around quality, understatement, character, seduction, praise, creativity, and originality. They're proud of their long tradition and heritage. Alfred Dorsey, better known as Count Dorsey, is the original dandy. He was known as a French artist, dandy, and man of fashion in the early mid 19th century. And for a dandy, for those of you who might not know, that's like a gentleman who goes out of their way to make their personal appearance a certain way. It's someone who pays attention to their dress and grooming. I would say many of us, including myself, in Freycom uh, could be called dandies. I'm happy to be called one. I have no problem at all with that. I carry the title proudly as all dandies should. Now Count Dorsey from what I've been able to, to ascertain was never part of the ownership of this brand. But the brand was founded in 1908 with the goal to preserve his perfume heritage and develop an aristocratic perfume house on its basis. Originally, when the house debuted in the early 1900s, they went out of their way to make sure that only the finest materials were used and that the bottles were top of the line in terms of quality. They only used Baccarat crystal or Lalique glass. Um, Alfred Dorsey, evidently did help them develop one fragrance at least called uh, Etiquette Blue, which I believe is still available and sold today. Etiquette Blue um, was created for Count Dorsey to give his lover Lady Blessington, but I heard that this one was reformulated in 2008 by Florent LeBlanc. Now in February 2007, a woman named Marie Huey who was in her early 30s at the time and a fragrance lover, decided to buy this house and resurrect it. She put a lot of time and effort into going through their catalog and modernizing the fragrances and the packaging. For the first time, she made the fragrances available outside of, of uh, France. And there are quite a few places in the US that carry the line, including, as of, sh as of shooting this, Min in Soho. Um, I've seen this on Beauty Encounter as well. Uh, I got my bottle of this uh, off a website called Blooming Way. They have 50 ml there uh, for $55, and I just decided to go for it. This one was originally released in 1925. It was composed by a perfumer named Dominique Preces. He, I believe, um, reformulated Dandy as he's done some other work for Bogar, Balenciaga, and Shishido. So he did the modern interpretation of this. And the notes on it are whiskey, rum, peach, pineapple, and plum at the top. You can see why I bought this. And the middle, ginger, nutmeg, cardamom, cinnamon, and clove. In the base, you're gonna get sandalwood, benzoin, patchouli, tonka bean, Peru balsam, and tobacco. Now, as far as your bottle goes, your box goes, this is Dorsey, um, La Dandy, Pour La Homme. There's a female version of this. Uh, you have a quote in the back or just some, some copy, a very distinctive Eau de Parfum, which goes beyond Dandy's unmistakable beauty, charming life and love. So it is Eau de Parfum. On the top, you have a crest, Dorset crest, some information on the bottom. Bottle, again, this is a 50 ml. Um, kind of resembles like a, a, a liquor bottle. Uh, I like the lines. They're clean. It says La Dandy on the front. Sticker on the bottom. Cap is gold color, but it's plastic. A little bit of a disappointment there. The atomizer is fine. So it uh, looks actually a little small for a 50 ml bottle, but I could be bugging on that. So what does it smell like? Now, guys, I want to tell you something. I wanted to love this. Like, I was excited to love this. Uh, I've been called a dandy. The backstory is dope. But I kind of see why this one doesn't get the love that it that it warrants or, or expects, I should say. It doesn't smell bad. 
but something about it just ain't right. Like, you ever met someone that seems all right, you know, like, he never does anything crazy, like, pulls his dick out at the dinner table, but you just feel like something's off? That's dandy for me. The promise of plum and pineapple are just not there. Like, for me, this one opens up with peach, and it's not a sweet peach, no. It's drier, and it has an alcohol vibe to it. But the alcohol isn't, like, for plum, rum, or cognac, or whiskey. It's sort of synthetic and not pleasant. Doesn't smell bad, but this really can't fuck with some of the good boozy scents out there. Now, that peach booze vibe is pretty heavily accompanied by clove, cardamom, cinnamon, tobacco. The tobacco for me is heavy. Uh, one of the heaviest notes in the fragrance. So to me, it's like a boozy peach tobacco scent. And, and a fragrance that I think of when I think of that is um, one of the, the newer ones from Slumberhouse, Kiss Day. And that one's just so much, like the notes on it are so much better. Uh, it's just, it's, such, it's thicker, it's more viscous. It performs better. This is really like a bad version of that. Um, and that's really how I would describe this one. You know, as it dries down, the tobacco becomes more apparent, but it doesn't do much more than that. You know, the notes look great on this one, but for me, it just really never materializes until what, what I thought could be a really good fragrance. Performance is also not good. You know, this is an EDP and it's light. Um, I'd say it's so light, you could rock this in the summer. It's almost transparent and it doesn't project that well. Longevity is fair. I would call it unisex. Um, I really wanted to sort of get that aura of a masculine dandy and it fell short there for me. This isn't a good cold weather scent. It's, it's more a spring or summer vibe. And it's kind of hard to figure out when to wear this because you don't want to smell like booze at work, but it's not, um, it's not really good enough to wear any way but casually. It's not really special enough to, to, to do that. You know, if you're looking at something different in the same vein, as I said, Kiss Day is like a great version of this you know you could also definitely look at the for pond fragrances 1270 speakeasy uh passion boise uh which to me is a better version of this as well that one has tangerine booze tobacco and clove and then i would say you know this even reminds me a little bit of dng the one and i'm not a big fan of dng the one because i think the performance sucks on dng the one but i think i think dng the one's better than this if someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this i think they would sell say look um, the history of this house is awesome. This doesn't smell bad, and it's got a boozy vibe to it. Some people might really enjoy that. I think on the on the flip side, someone might say it just doesn't deliver on what's promised. The, it was really poorly executed. It smells outdated, and you just have better options. So I'm gonna give this one a five out of ten. I can't murder it. Um, there are people out there who I know that like this and um, people that I know will like this if they try it. If, um, if you want to go the boozy way with fruit, there are just better options. Like, I just can't in good fragrance recommend this to my subscribers. I don't think of this as a dandy scent. Like, I think of Third Man by Cameron, uh, Port Monsieur by Chanel, Bois de Portugal by Creed, Blenheim Bouquet by Ben Halligans. Like, those are scents that wealthy fly men wore. Um, I've never heard of people wearing dandy, and I, I kind of get why. Now, this is definitely good enough to warrant you taking a look at it, because some people might like this. I might be off on this. I might come back in a year and say, oops, uh, but I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I just think we don't vibe, and my vision of a boozy fly guy scent is different than Dorsey. So, guys, that's that's my opinion on it. Um, wanted to wanted to like this one, just didn't quite get there with it. So, if you have any questions on it, I'm, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, more videos coming next week, guys. You know what it is. My name is Max. Yeah, feeling like bounty? Check it out. I'm up on your girl while you be in the county. You wanna act rowdy? Uh -huh. You can't see me, cause yeah. your vision getting cloudy.